What's going on ladies and gents, this is Bento, and today's little video is just meant to showcase some of the new updates that were included for the Steam controller. So one of them is actually a button release for the touch menu, and what normally on the touch menu you just need to click any of the functional keys you have set, um, but in this case what Valve decided to add was something called a uh, button release, and so if, um, the function doesn't exactly uh, work as soon as I click it, but it actually functions as soon as I release it. So I guess this is good for people who don't, or in case they might have accidentally hit the keys, they can uh, easily switch to the other ones in case they just want to do that. So that's a pretty nifty function. So the next function for the touch menu is what's known as touch release. And as its name implies, instead of having to click the touch menu, you can actually just tap it and it'll function as normal. So this is really good so you don't have to like constantly click the touch menu. You can easily just tap it and you don't have to really force your thumb too much. And the last update is what's called a hip fire exclusive, and this is actually for dual trigger functions. And it's actually meant to keep the soft trigger and hard trigger pull actions separate so they don't um, occur at the same time. So as you can see with normal hip fire, I can still access the hard trigger pull action even when I'm still holding down the soft trigger pull. Um, but with hip fire exclusive, I can't even access the hard trigger pull action at all. So this is really good if you absolutely need to keep your trigger separate. And that way you don't unintentionally pull a trigger you didn't need to. But that's it for the update guys. I hope this little video helped shed more light on some of the new functions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.